Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with Vinland Saga. Last time around, we had Beyond the Edge of the Sea, uh, where basically uh, the the Viking boys went home, basically, back to uh, where Askeladd's uncle is, and uh, retired for the winter, I suppose. Um, but not before Thorfinn got in another duel. Uh, however, uh, while he uh, well, he did improve. He has certainly improved. Uh, he still is kind of getting in his own head, and Asklid used that and won the duel. Um, and then we had a whole thing about uh, everybody is a slave to something, uh, which was interesting, and we had an interesting moment between Thorfinn and uh, the actual slave girl, who, uh, and he told her about Vinland. The mythical land, without war, without slave traders, and it was an interesting moment. And also, we got uh, Thorfinn dreaming of his father, which was pretty, uh, pretty nice and touching. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much where we left off. I think, uh, although the the last thing was like we're headed to London uh, because that's where the current battle is with uh, Denmark, and uh, they're also inter introducing a new character, I believe. So, yeah. Like always, the reaction is down in the description and in the pinned comment for your viewing pleasure. So let's go ahead and jump right into this episode of Vinland Saga. Here we go. <laughs> that is the good news, is that he hasn't lost his mind, I guess, you know? If that's any if that's anything, if that's any consultation. The Thorfinn, uh, cause see, I was, uh, I was kind of thinking for a second, would, is he, does he view him as a true warrior, but no, he's a madman, so, I mean, he got decent hits on him, eh, I mean, some decent hits, but, I don't know, uh, see, uh, but this is what, this is the thing, this is what we always say is, like, I don't want to go into... Um, I don't want to go into power scaling, because I'm trying to think, like, okay, so what if Askled or Thor's tried to face Thorkel? I don't know. See, because, like, I feel like you could also say something about, like, just the type matchup, I think. Like, because if we had Thor's versus Thorkel, um... See, that would be interesting, because, like, that, that would be interesting because they're both big, kind of brawny types, you know? Like, they're they're big, strong people, you know? That was kind of one of the advantages, or one of the things Thor's had on Askeladd was being so incredibly strong that, you know, Askeladd had to be clever, he had to be quick, you know? So, if anything, I guess Thorfinn is more, like leaning towards how uh, Askeladd fights than how Thor's fights, you know? He's being more agile instead, so... Being more agile and swift rather than being a powerhouse like his father was, you know? So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he... I don't know how well either of them would have done against Thorkel. I mean, he's just a beast. He's just a big old beast. So... Oh, boy. Um, so, yeah. That was something. <laughs> that certainly was something. Um, so, yeah. So, we have our new new objective, if we want to get a duel from Askled, is to bring him the head of Thorkel. I get the feeling that's just going to take a while, so... Uh, but, I mean... I mean, he did hold his own for a bit, like... Like, it wasn't... It wasn't completely one-sided. Again, he did get a good hit on him. And, uh... Thorkel was trying. He was actually trying, so there's that, you know? I don't know. <sighs> I mean, but it's also an interesting thing of, like... Just with Thorfinn, of, like... You know, when you examine how they all fight, you know... Like, with Thorkel, you know, he is very different because he's big. He doesn't use a sword, you know? 
he doesn't use a sword just because he's that ridiculously strong and big, you know? Whereas you'll have the more traditional warriors, uh, Thors and Askeladd, who do have to use a sword. It looks like, you know, the Yom Viking, like Floki, tend to use an axe, which I want to see more of them in action, you know? Like, we've had them pretty much since episode two. Like, we've known about them since episode two. They haven't done anything, though. So, hopefully, hopefully at some point we get to see him fight. And not just be the cowardly bastard who set up Thors to kill him, you know? Because at this point, that's what he is, you know? But, it's interesting with Thorfinn, because he's so different, and I guess just, it's because he's young, you know? Like, he's still a young teenager, isn't he? Like, he's probably maybe 14, 15 at this point? I don't know. I wonder if I can, like, look up when Thorfinn was born, specifically. Just so I have that clear in my head. Uh, 996. Okay. February 3rd, 996. So, so he's actually, he's 17 at this point. Huh. Okay. So he's a little older than I thought. So he's 17 at this point. So yeah, I guess it has probably been about 10 years or so since, since Thor's died. That's crazy. But yeah, but he's about 17 at this point. Um, he's about 17. And the thing is, like, I don't know, is he going to grow anymore? You know, I mean, at 17, I don't know, where was I at 17? Was I about as tall as I am? I mean, just about. That's the thing. Like, I, I don't think I really grew too much. 17... 17 was, for me, was about 10 years ago, so, was I about this tall? I don't know if I was this heavy, that's a different problem, but, um, that's another problem altogether, but, um, was I this tall when I was 17? 17, I was a senior in high school. <laughs> 17, I had just started this YouTube channel, and I grew this beard, I, you know, yeah, I must have been, I don't know, yeah, I don't think I grew that much, that much more after 17, so, I don't know. Now, granted, I'm, you know, comparing this to myself to the fictional cartoon Viking man, so, I don't know, like, I'm curious, basically, is, is Thorfinn going to get, you know, a similar build to his father? I'm gonna say, maybe not, you know? I'm going to say probably not, but I don't know. But it, but it's an interesting thing, just the way he fights, you know? Because he's smaller, he has to be more agile, he's more quick, he's more swift. And it also reflects in his weapons, you know? The fact that he does use two daggers and not a sword, you know? Even though at this point he probably could use a sword. Now, you know, he's probably old enough at this point. But he's just so you know, comfortable using his knives. Granted, he lost one of them. I don't think he lost the the one that was his father's. I think that's the one that's still on on his front. I think the other one is the one that he took from the one soldier he killed, so... So it's entirely possible he can get another knife, another dagger, you know? But yeah, so it's just a really interesting thing, just watching him fight, and now... Just seeing him kind of, I guess you could say mismatched, you know? Mismatched against uh, Thorkel, who's just so damn powerful, you know? He's just big and strong and a menace, you know? Um, so yeah, it's like you can go for his weak points, but they're kind of hard to get to. I mean, he even said, like, you know, his, his elbows, his armpits, his neck, all of those are too high. So you kind of have to go go around. I mean, because here's the thing. He went around and he kicked the back of his knee. I'm presuming to, you know, get him to fall so that those weak points are closer. Honestly, go for the knees. Go for the Achilles heel. Like, go for, I mean, 
I don't know how much how how much does he know about like ligaments? Like get rid of get rid of those some of those things, and he just won't have any control. I mean, presumably he is also a beast. So, but yeah, but he did get a hit. First was the unintentional hit, where. Uh, he literally blocked his knife with his hand and then started carrying him around with that, you know? But then he did get the cut on his fingers, um, which was pretty good. So, it was a start. He broke three of his ribs, sprained his ankle, and dislocated his shoulder in the process, but it's a start. But, at, at least now, I see, I kind of like, though, that it's like, okay, because we had, you know... We had him getting stronger and challenging Askled, and then there was the uh, taking on the uh, taking out the French uh, commander, and that let him have a duel with Askled. And so the the goal has always been to defeat Askled, but I like that now it's not just a hey now we try again and again and again. It's like we're not we're not going to keep repeating the duel every few episodes. I like that now. He can't. He can't do it until he brings him the he the head of Thorkel. So, which is going to be difficult. But I don't know. I don't know if that's going to like shape the rest of the season. But I don't know. It'll be interesting. It'll be really, really interesting to see where we go with him. You know. But at the very least, he was acknowledged as a warrior by Thorkel. I mean. That's gotta show how much progress he's made, that he was acknowledged by him, you know? And I like how, when he says, you know, that he's the son of Thor's, that Thorkel actually was like, wait a minute, Thor's? I, I knew him, you know? So that was interesting. Um, I mean, there. see, one of my questions is, you know, their names are so similar. You know, Thor's, Thorkel, Thorfinn, it's like, I would be curious if maybe they're somehow related, but probably not. Because, I mean, the hair color... Well, the hair color is different between Thorkel and Thor's, you know? Because... Because Thorfinn's hair color, his blonde hair color, comes from his mother. And it's the same thing with uh, with his sister, but... I don't know. So I, I don't think... I don't know. It's probably just a coincidence. They probably just know each other, you know? But I'm very curious uh, to see more of that, you know? And, and again, I, I like at the end that, um, I like at the end that Thorfinn is like, you know, what the hell is wrong with this guy? What's so fun about being in battle, you know? It's like, I like that, that he hasn't really lost, like, he doesn't want to do any of this. He doesn't want to be here, but he is because he has to get, you know, he has to avenge his father, so... So, like, that's that's the only thing. So, so it's interesting. I like that. I'm glad that there isn't, like... Like, there's actually no part of him that really enjoys this. He's just... He's doing what he thinks he needs to do. You know? So... And then at the end, uh, another... Another tease of uh, Knut. Uh, which I still don't fully know how to say. So, yeah. Oh, excuse me. But, yeah. Really, really good episode... And I'm curious to see where we are going next time. Well, I guess we're going to Wessex. So, curious to see what we're doing at Wessex next time. But that is basically it. With all of that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. There's a bunch of links on screen if you want to go click around any of those. There's a playlist with all of my Vinland Saga reactions, as well as another video you can go click on if you want. There's also a subscribe button and a Patreon button on screen, as well as other links in the description if you want to go check out any of those. See you guys later.